My name is Caroline Moraldo. I'm the Artistic Director of Moraldo DC, performing arts company. We specialise in dance. Our repertoire includes dance for the Christian Church, traditional dances from the Caribbean islands. We incorporate also um, dances from South, Central and West Africa. Um, we also have pieces to more contemporary genres of music, um, especially from the Caribbean. Uh, for myself, over the years, I've developed my own technique class, which is called Africanistic Movement. Africanistic Movement is all, the, all about the way that people of African heritage um, use their bodies traditionally in dance, which is quite different from their European counterparts. Um, our movement tends to be polydynamic, polyrhythmic, much lower center of weight, just to give you um, three of quite a few differences, very interesting differences. And the idea of the class is not only to extend people's um, muscle memory, but also it's an opportunity for those who dance any dances with any form of African heritage uh, more authentically. Um, once the body can understand um, how the body is used in an African way. Out of my work, I have been asked to teach a workshop on Caribbean quadrilles. Now, Caribbean quadrilles um, descend from English and French quadrilles. They come out from the time of slavery in the Caribbean. Um, when the English and French would dance their quadrilles on their festive days. And they would be observed by the enslaved African servants, who in turn would um, teach what they saw to the field slaves. And between them, they just used it as a mickey take um, in the beginning. But in taking the mickey out of the French and the English, they over time developed their own quadrilles. So wherever the English and the French went, um, there would have developed a tradition of Caribbean quadrilles, which has its own music, which has its own format, although it's based on those, um, those forms from England and France. Um, and although um, in some islands it continues today and very much at the heart of society. For example, St. Lucia and Jamaica, they have quadrille competitions in school. So the kids learn quadrilles and it's very much at the heart of the culture. In fact, you can even go along. I have gone along in St. Lucia to the local pub and been able to dance quadrilles. But then in other islands, uh, they're no longer practiced. But as long as the French and the English have been there, there will have been in their heritage some form of um, Caribbean quadrilles. Depending on the island, um, the size of the island, um, it will determine how many forms of quadrilles there are. Um, some tiny islands may only have one form, whereas um, a bigger, much bigger islands such as Jamaica will have several per parish. So you can imagine how many forms of quadrille there are. Um, some big differences, some smaller differences. Um, and that's within the fact that obviously you could divide all the quadrilles into English derived or French derived. And it makes it all the more interesting. In fact, I had the honor of studying um, quadrilles and um, looking at them um, with Ellis Rogers um, the foremost expert in this country. And it was so, so interesting to compare and contrast between the Caribbean developments of quadrille with the French and English quadrilles. Really fascinating. So if you're somebody who um, is experienced in French and English quadrilles, I'm, I'm sure you'll find this really interesting. Although, of course, um, it's only going to be a little taster. Um, and as there are so many Caribbean quadrilles, um, I'm just going to focus on a couple from Jamaica. And I really do hope um, that you will find it 
fascinating, quite, quite fascinating um, how these forms have developed, where they are similar, but also where they have, um, uh, um, you know, become quite different. Because obviously what's happened is that uh, the Africans have brought to the dance their preferred ways of movement, their um, character characteristic ways of movement and combined it um, with the forms that they saw. So um, I hope you'll come along to the workshop 